Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of The Wedding Chats. Today we are privileged to have a friend of ours, Musti DJ. Musti runs uh, the brand Real Sounds. Real Sounds, uh, they, like to call them, they like to call themselves uh, corporate DJs. Uh, we're going to talk more about him. We speak to Musti to, 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 to hear his role as a wedding DJ in, uh, at a wedding. So yeah, Mustafa Kasuli. Yes, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for hosting me. Welcome to the wedding chats. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Musi, when you're speaking English, you tend to be serious. <laughs> this is and now this is the Kasule I know. Eh, How are you? I'm okay. How is your news? Not bad. Uh, we had uh, we had a chat recently on, on Instagram, and it was beautiful. There were many questions and stuff, and um, I thought we'd uh, have another sit down with you, and we are we, we've been honoured to for you to accept our invite. Uh, how has the season been? How has the COVID lockdown session been? Um, the season side hopefully is slow, but mm -hmm. it's starting to pick up. Thank God, but it's still not uh, still not that good, but uh, it's better. I see you working every weekend. There's an event we posted and they had given you pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are trying to be innovative this season to mm -hmm. cover up with, uh, with the bad times they've been facing since January. But um, overall, it's uh, the season is bad for everyone. We're just how? trying to catch up with the times, but it's, it's not that good. How are the finances? How are the packages? Do you have to adjust your packages because of... Um, I feel like I'm not entitled to change my packages. I see it in a way like um, if you're going to a club and uh, they're going to charge you 30000 to enter. If you enter at 10, you'll pay 30000 If you're leaving the club at 11, you'll still pay 30000 So why do you want to pay me less for a wedding because you're going to, uh, you're going to leave the venue probably earlier than before? So that's how I package myself. I feel like I'm not supposed to change my packages. And somehow it has been working, though it's really hard to convince um, a large number of people in my community. I had so it looked at it that way. You yeah. enter a club at 9 and it's nine. still 30. You open the same thing. Whether you come at 9, nine or 9. Nine or 10 or whatever. I mean, if it's 30 minutes into the club, you pay the same amount. And I was talking to someone sometime, uh, I think mm. two months ago, they called me and wanted uh, photography. Mm. And they told me they have 30 people. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. Um, so, uh -huh. the packages, I wanted to uh, take my packages at I think half or quarter yeah. price. Yeah. And I'm thinking, you see now, photography is not like food, where yeah. it's, uh, the number of people dictates the, the, the deliverables. It's the same thing. You probably want two video cameras, you want two photographers, but the price... Now, uh, you saying that makes a lot of sense. It's actually, I think it's actually even more work for us, because... Uh, mm -hmm. The crew has to incur more costs to reach the store to collect the equipment. It has to be, it has to wake up very early in time because uh, the events start not probably at yeah, nine. Yeah. Mm. So incur more costs, transportation costs, and uh, and uh, probably the equipment. It's it's a lot of work for us. It's a lot of work. Oh, wow. A lot of panic. A lot of pressure. Imagine you're doing an event for five solid hours constantly. Mm. Before you used to do it for probably ten or more. Mm. Now it's five constant hours of maximum pressure it's a lot of work to be done for for less oh yeah. wow uh we shared before uh we've had conversations with each other and we know the purpose for these talks is mm. such that our clients our good clients get to know the, the, the information that we have we have a lot of information that we'd like to put out there but we, we they don't have that information mm. that is the reason for these chats yes. and now uh you are uh, what is real sounds who is real sounds who is musty dj is it a bobby wine chagulan situation <laughs> when uh, i get real sounds do i get you or initially initially um i had the love for music as me musty mm -hmm. so i teamed up with my brother he's called kasule mm. he, he had the monies and the ideas mm -hmm. so he bought the first um the first set of equipment mm. He, he named it Real Sounds. Mm. I was there, I like a DJ. I started DJing with, uh, with the equipment, looking mm. for jobs. That was around 20, 2010. He started looking for jobs, marketing, doing a little pushing, with a lot of hiccups, of course, mm. as a startup. Mm. So after five years, um, I decided to market myself as a DJ, as, a DJ. And as, uh, as Real Sounds, as its own entity. So mm. at the moment, I find that most of the jobs that real sounds get are through my name. Mm. So now the challenge that I'm having is mm. how to convince a client that real sounds can work alone without me 
I didn't see that in the future, but now it's trying to hit back on me. That's why I formed a group called Real DJs. So there is Real DJs, there is Real Sounds. Uh -huh. So now, how, this is how I package it. You book, real, you book Real Sounds, you get a Real DJ. So from Real DJs, you either get me, you get Clive, you get Kays, Peter, there are a number of DJs there. They know and they like, there are quite many. So I'm trying to balance everything at the same pace, but mm. it's, uh, it will take some time, probably two to three years for people to get convinced that it's the same brand. Okay, uh, you answered a few of my questions. I was going to ask, um, do you do more than one event? Yes, um, we do. At the moment, Real Sounds can handle four events. Four events. On yeah. a day. Four big events. I'm, that's, uh, I'm looking at uh, events, uh, 500 people max. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. 500 people. So you said, you said you said there, there are different DJs there are in different your group. DJs in the group. Uh, if I wanted Musti, mm. Musti is the one who I've seen perform, and mm. your, 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 your content is all over, is in, yeah. in my space. Mm. Good job there, by the way. Okay. Um, this is the, what is the price for Musti, if I wanted Musti? <coughs> so now, how it's done, Real Sounds will, uh, will charge you, let's say, 1.5 for a wedding. Mm -hmm. That's with, um, without a DJ or with... Um, with, uh, with one of the real DJs, that's minus me. So mm. me, I'll package myself differently. I'll, you come to me and say, mostly I want you to be my DJ. I'll ask you for one million for me as a mm. real DJ. So you book me, then I'll also charge you differently for the sound. For the sound. If you have your own sound, well, I'm good. Though, I rarely advise that. I work with a few companies, mm. and I wouldn't want to tarnish my name. Oh, because, for the uh, sound. Yeah, the I usually prefer, at the end of the day, I someone that I know. It's either yeah. real sounds, probably Fenon, and uh, and a few other good guys. Yeah, I've been I've been at an event many years ago mm -hmm. where uh, the I don't know what happens. The amplifier becomes funny. Yeah, something. Right now, all the eyes are on the DJ. The DJs. Maybe sometimes maybe it's a sabotage. Uh, probably it's a sabotage with the in-house DJs. Mm. You know, at times you you hired by um by uh, by an event planner mm. to work on a certain sound system. And probably the DJs there wouldn't want you to outshine them. And you reach there and you do like a sabotage kind of thing. So you, you mess up the things and your name is messed up. Oh, wow. Yeah. So wow. to avoid all those things, I prefer working with people that I know, and people I've worked with before. Oh, oh your own music. All my own, 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 own sound So um, you want to tell me that if I wanted Mosty, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm going for to real sounds, I want to part with 1.5 million. Then Musti that's, uh, is one million. Yes, so that's two point five for sound mm -hmm. for an event. Great. Uh, Musti, weddings. Weddings give the vibe, the flow. You set the mood for the event. A big. You have been to events, mm -hmm. and uh, the DJ is killing the event. Um, and sometimes it brings me to the question: Did they send? Did they send in a playlist? Was there? Uh, was there friction between the DJ and the couple? Uh, I'm not going to ask what causes that. Mm. And the question is going to be, um, what do you think are those things that the couple should know before hiring a wedding DJ, um, a professional wedding DJ? It's a, it's a build up to the event. That, uh, it's a relationship you build with the clients, first of all. Uh, the client needs to look at um, probably the history of the DJ, the social media following probably, the, the reviews from, uh, from people, mm. um, the interaction you have with the DJs before you make all those payments. Um, you don't, don't want to just bump onto a random guy and you just pay mm. him all the money. Mm. So you want to see if a DJ has a website, probably that would be a plus. Mm. The reputation he has with the, pay, uh, with the, with the clients, the mm. history, you know, the background, it's, it's quite a lot of things. We, this is something that you build over time. I've been in the game for the last 10 years Mm -hmm. And um, trust me, I've, there have been ups and downs, but as time goes on, you keep on building and building and building. You work for a Jeff, Jeff will recommend you to a certain number mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. Those people will recommend you to others and others and others. So through that, you get, um, you get a good following and a good, uh, and good number of clients. So if you go on Jeff's, uh, Jeff's uh, probably Facebook page or mine, mm -hmm. so if you see like uh, the reviews there are good, you see my, uh, my content is there, uh, the comments are okay, so mm. I think you get uh, you get the courage to book me. Mm. If you go on my website and the things are all linked, it will be very nice. So there's no reason why you wouldn't book a DJ like that. Okay, uh, book a DJ like that. Mm. Okay, uh, Musti, 
uh, when when would you advise that the couple books a wedding DJ? If say the one Marcus Mlalo mm. proposed to his woman tomorrow, yeah, and they they have wedding date set. Um, when, when would you advise that they, they book the DJ? Uh, unfortunately, Marcus Mlalo, I don't think he will ever get married now. The Marcus that I know, <laughs> Marcus Mlalo. <laughs> <laughs> the photograph that I don't get married. But anyway, for, for people who can get married, I know them, not Marcus. Uh, it's really advised probably five months before. Five if, months yeah. before the event. Um, for example, this year was a very good year for me. I had almost mm. uh, 90% covered. But unfortunately, people have been cancelling out oh, next year. So also, all weekends were all booked out. So it's advisable you book your key service providers five months before even earlier you can just deposit the, the minimum fee you ask them how much you how much will be the deposit you give them a minimum fee just to book the debts yeah as you make other decisions oh so five months of event yeah. if i had a wedding if i'm not going to use names now if i <laughs> i will not say Accra. if i had a wedding yeah. yeah and yeah for some reason we thought someone is going to do our music then to reach the event Something happens, yeah, and they are, they're not able. Mm. Would you take on a wedding like that? Yeah, if I'm free, I would. If I'm not, because I don't do double bookings. If I'm not there, I'm not there. If, if uh, unfortunately you call me a date to the event or the same day, mm. and I'm not there, I would recommend to you one of my DJs or one of other guys to work on you. If they're all not there, then probably you have to find somewhere else to go. But I don't do double bookings. I don't. I don't. I do one event per day. Oh, okay. Mostly, who does the music selection for the event? So, um, the client, the client, um, I advise the client to have the biggest percentage of this. Mm. So, you as a client, you're supposed to know what you want. I don't know you. Mm. It's the first time. People usually say, um, I have experience in weddings, I've done so many weddings, but you don't have experience in Jeff's wedding. Mm -hmm. This is Jeff's wedding. It's it's the first and last. Mm. I have no experience in your wedding. Mm. So you have experience of your own self. Mm. So there is no way you're going to expect me to create a playlist for you. I don't know you. I've never seen you. It's the first time I'm seeing you. Probably I've known you for the last uh, three, four, five months. And mm. you've been engaged with so many other service providers. I mm. don't even have time for me. Mm. And uh, we have met two, three times. So how am I going to craft something for you for your special day? So this is how I would advise things to be done. You set up probably a WhatsApp group, or oh, you, you tell me probably five key songs that you want mm. when you're entering, cutting care, um, the first dance, and others. So from there, I can build onto what you would want. I don't expect you to be a dictator and write for me everything. Mm. When I'm going to eat the food, when I'm going to smile, when mm. I'm going to do this, you write for me or oh, no, 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 just a few songs. Mm. And even if you have no clue about what you want, at least you can give me a genre of what you want. What? Mm. Reggae, hip-hop, new music, or an mm. artist. So for me, I have an insight of what kind of music I would play the entire event, or um, the kind of people you're going to invite for your wedding. So for me, I can build them from there. You okay. have to give me a picture of how your wedding is supposed to be. Oh, you have you want to have a picture of how the wedding is supposed to be. I heard you mention the, the, the age group yeah. of people that are going to meet to rather be at the event. Mm. Does that, that means you meet the clients? Yes, I meet the clients, meet the clients or, yeah. or I talk to them. So um, if, um, if, the, if the client is probably in the youth, the teens, so I would expect the kind of music to be different from an anniversary kind of setup. If, um, the, if the groom or bride, they are probably above 50, I will know what to play. If they are below that, I will still know what to play, basing on the playlist that you have given me. Now the challenge comes in when you, Jeff, you want the music to be um, the youth kind of feel, but then the crowd you have invited, 80% uh, okay. are old people. Mm. So now, how do I balance between the old and the youth? Mm. Then that's entirely up to the up to the DJ's experience, and and it's actually like a life test on the, the DJ. Mm. You mess up, it's it's all done. Do you oh life test mess up and it's all done? Okay, mostly. Do do you allow uh, do you allow clients to come and uh, visit you on site to to see what you do? Um, it one 
clans really feel like they are entitled to that. I wouldn't want that. It's a two-way. Mm. It's a two-way thing. Mm. Um, you're going to come at uh, at a client as event. Mm. They want probably gospel music. Mm. You you're a club kind of person. Club bangers. You want mm. the shibas. You want this. So you're going to come at this event. This person has told me mostly I only want gospel music. Mm. You're going to come at this place. You're only playing gospel music, and you judge me based on the kind of music I have played mm. for that person. But that crowd, it's what they want. So I would advise if you're going to go to a place where I've worked, come and see maybe the output of the speakers, mm. um, the way I'm engaging with the crowd, the way I'm engaging with the MC, mm. the, uh, probably the look and feel of the equipment. Is it new? Is it old? And uh, uh, probably the behavior of my crew, a lot of things around it, but don't judge my playlist based on what you have seen at an event. I'm playing that because it's what those people want yeah, and it's what you. fits there. It's mm. not because it's what you want. Your wedding is on the other day and this is what those people want. So come come and see what I've done. It's okay, but don't judge me entirely for what I'm playing there. Oh, and so you, you, you're telling me that uh, if I came to, again, I'm abstaining from using names. Uh, no, you can, you can use Marcus anyway because you won't uh, get married. So. <laughs> If I went to Eric's wedding, for example, uh, I might judge you wrongly because... Yeah. Okay. You may judge me wrongly. One, because of so many things. One, mm. either that's what Eric wants, he's mm. happy. Two, because maybe the MC is driving me to that. Mm. There are quite a number of things that uh, can drive a DJ either on or off on mm. wedding. Yeah. What's the... You, you, I, I hear you mention MC driving you to the... To yeah. that. What most uh, what would you say makes you different from uh, from competition from your other people in the business? Why would I look out for most most DJ? Um, one, the branding. Uh, two, um, the experience. Three, um, the art that um, that I that I input or the art that I apply on different events. We all have the same music with all my uh, my other DJs. We all have the same music. Uh, probably the same equipment, probably the same everything, but the art differs. How you how you play at someone's event is different. How you how you engage with your clients will be different. There are so many things that um, will tell the difference within, within a DJ. How you relate with the MC, how you relate with the clients, and uh, when you play a certain song, usually it depends on execution. My execution, I believe, is way much different from others, and um, I'm glad to meet many many challenges ahead of me and um, I keep on adding on to my experience each and every day I do research I've tried uh, recently I opened up a new website for my uh, for my services so you can book mm. me online so and um, you can book you can book you can book through mobile money you can pay through visa for the for the abroad clients so you don't have to meet me or do a bank transfer through my website as well so I feel such things I've added a lot of value to my brand, and the consistency has been um, has been really there. The dress code, um, everyone is currently dressing well for events, so I want I make sure I add more to my dress code. To so put lines. Means, yeah, for the lines. Mm. <laughs> yeah, for my barber, if you don't put a line, eh, I won't return to your salon. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is my signature. Kalain, mm. Marcus. <laughs> Make sure you get this kind properly. If it's not there, it's not most. <laughs> so the line has to be there. So usually it's uh, it's consistency that has made me reach this far. Mm. I like. To, I want to tell you that um, I I appreciate your branding, what you're doing online. Um, there's many of us, many people. I speak for myself and many others who have been silent. Some of us think or know we do good work, but we're not out there. But you'll be on your Facebook and the most video comes. You'll be on Instagram, the same human being comes. And I like the visibility. Uh, so whoever is managing your, 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 your account, eh? they, they do need a raise, first of all. <laughs> then the other thing is, um, I, I like how you are uh, when you come to events. The respect through clothing uh, that you give to events. Um, I, I, again, I love that. That's another plus for you. Uh, Mustafa Kasule yeah. of Real Sound. I am a photographer. 
we, the company does video. We have had cases where we reached the venue and the sound people, not your company, sound people refuse to give us um, sound. And the sound usually is for the bride and groom, their video so they have a cl cleaner sound. And in my head I'm thinking, they have the same plan. Our goal is the same. What happens? How is your relationship with, uh, with other vendors? <coughs> One, do you give photographers sound? Um, I personally have no problem with uh, giving photographers sound. I give them sound through my mixers. I give them power sources. I give them whatever they need. You let them charge? I let them charge oh. their batteries. I give them everything um, <laughs> as long as they come early. Challenge is at times uh, they tend to be disorganized. They come in late and they want you to to start plugging in their things amidst uh, the, client, the, 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 the entrance. When they're entering, they want you to plug in sound. They do this. So if the guy comes in on time, there's no reason why I wouldn't give you my sound. I won't even, I won't even charge for you to, to charge your phones, uh, to get sound, to get your batteries charged and all. Maybe store your equipment well on the, on the DJ, on the cruise side. I, I find that okay and I really give. I, I don't know why people refuse to, to, to give other, other vendors space and uh, freedom to execute their their art on an event. Even with the MCs, I engage well with them. You come, I give you a microphone, you test the sound, you balance the, the sound of the microphone, you tell me if it's what you want. So I make sure everyone gets a, gets the freedom to do what they are paid for. Yeah, so I'm, I don't I don't take out everything to myself. I don't want to, sh to steal the show alone, if, that's what, if that word is even there. So I make sure everyone is there to shine, because everyone has one goal. And mm. for the sound, why I would want to give you good sound? If you edit that video well and the sound is clear, so probably you would tag me there, sound by probably by real sounds, and mm. maybe I would get more jobs from mm. that in the long run. Or you would recommend me or any other person off that event may recommend the service providers for that time, and you would recommend me if someone comes to you and they need probably a decorator, mm. a sound system, DJ, yeah. And you remember me because of that current thing that I've been doing for your friends or others. So it's okay with me. All right. Uh, Musi, as we conclude, I would love for you to uh, give us your final words. It could be an advice to a bride or groom or a vendor, anyone. Um, an event. Um, an event well, what I would advise to all the clients, a wedding or um, a wedding or an introduction or or anything, it happens once in a lifetime. Don't uh, don't underestimate any service provider. Get good guys for you and your day. Try to engage with them. Um, don't limit yourself because of the figures. Get a good service provider. Go talk to them. Get the right figures. Pay them on time. Engage with them, and you will get a good thing at the end of the day. Um, for my DJs, let's all be on one page. Let's all be smart. Let's all do research. Let's uh, let's add value to our work. Let's do more branding. Let's open up websites, social media pages. Let's use the social media platform. Social media is, is like the thing for everyone. So let's try to achieve that and be on the same on the same level. Otherwise, I wish you well. In case of anything, you can uh, check out my website www.mostydj.com. M O U S T E Y D J dot com. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, ah, tell people to subscribe to this channel. And uh, like, uh -huh, do your thing. Subscribe to Makula Pictures <laughs> on YouTube, Instagram, and all social media platforms. All right. Thank you so much. That's been us from uh, our humble abode. Uh, we appreciate you for watching. Please like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends.